is money in Disney World and you don't want to waste it, especially on bad food. Today I'm showing you the best things I've eaten in Animal Kingdom. Are you hungry? Let's get started. We've got a lot to eat. I hope you're ready. When planning a trip to Disney World, it's important to think about the hotel, what park you're going to each day, your must-do rides, and all of that good stuff. But it's also very important to think about the food. Now, in regards to Disney World food, you might first think of Epcot with the World Showcase or Magic Kingdom with all of those classic Disney snacks. But I would argue that Disney's Animal Kingdom has some of the best food in all of Disney World. That's right, I said it, and today I'm going to tell you all about that good food. Now, first on our list, we're gonna start with the most important thing of the entire day, and that is, no, not breakfast, but coffee. Let's talk about coffee. Before you even scan into Animal Kingdom as a whole, you are going to be met with a Joffrey's location outside of the park. Joffrey's is where we like to get our coffee here as an all-ears team. We like it a lot better than the Starbucks just because it's different, it's new, it's Disney coffee, pretty much. Joffrey's is a Tampa-based company that makes awesome coffee with locations all around Disney World, and I love Animal Kingdom specifically because it's got a Joffrey's outside of the park. If you are on a rope dropping mission, coffee outside of the park is a great way to go. That way you can get your coffee before you start rope dropping those rides. Actually, now that I think about it, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot all have Joffrey's outside of the park. So Hollywood Studios, I need you to get with it. That's the only complaint I have about Hollywood Studios. Let's get a Joffrey's outside of the park. I think you would agree with me. And I mean, we're here, so might as well get some coffee. See, now I got my coffee classic shaken Jamaican cold brew with vanilla. Now I'm ready to go. Although we're not doing a crazy ride challenge today, but if we were, I'd be ready to stand in a long line with my coffee. I like Joffrey's over Starbucks when I'm here in Disney World just because I have Starbucks at home and this feels extra magical, extra special. I would say it's not necessarily that much cheaper than Starbucks because this was $7. So just keep that in mind. Don your safari hat and bring a hippo-sized appetite as you go wild with a feast in the middle of a tropical rainforest. At this table service restaurant, you'll find typical American-style eats with a tropical twist. You'll dine in the company of animatronic animals to the sounds of thunder, rainstorms, birds, elephants, and more. This restaurant is a chain and not exclusive to Animal Kingdom by any means, so we don't recommend it for your trip. However, it will have food to please those picky eaters. All right, it's gonna be a good day. I feel like I'm never in Animal Kingdom and I'm spending a whole day here today and I'm super excited for it. I'm also very excited to eat all this food. So it's gonna be a great day. Got my Joffrey's walking into a beautiful Animal Kingdom. It's not too hot. It's gonna be a great day, y'all. I hope you're ready to eat some food. Also, before you get into the meat, <laughs> fun intended portion of this video, I am taking a spot sitting on a bench taking a break because I am doing a live premiere chat right now. The video we are chatting about is Emma's Disneyland Ride Challenge. She uh, saves Kermie. So if you don't know, we do have live premieres every Tuesday and Saturday. They are super fun. There's a bunch of people in the chat and people have become friends and it's so cool and awesome and sweet and now like I know things about you all that I wouldn't have known otherwise and you know. It's super fun, a great way to connect with you all even more. So if you have the chance, come hang out with us every Tuesday and Saturday at 9 a.m. Central. Mostly me, I'll be live in the chat, so hey. Actually, during <laughs> the premiere, <laughs> I'm gonna head to our first stop for a breakfast item because it might possibly stop selling at 10.30. I'm not sure, I need to go look at the menu. And look, it's Kevin. Now for our first stop today, we are here on Discovery Island for Isle of Java. This is a little snack stand with a couple of items like pretzels and churros and ice cream. And you can get your general basic Joffrey's cold brew here as well. They also have a couple of beverages with alcohol, including their Island Cappuccino, which is an alcoholic cappuccino if, you know, you need that at eight in the morning. This is the first stop on our list because I do want to give a shout out to a breakfast item that we don't always have, but you might want to know that's here. All right, and for our little breakfast moment, we did grab the tiger tail chocolate twist from Isle of Java. This is basically Animal Kingdom's version of the Cheshire cat tail from Magic Kingdom. Um, same kind of thing, it is a pastry with chocolate chips inside and it's got colorful icing on top that's supposed to look like a tiger tail. Today it's more yellow, I'll be honest. In the past it's been a little bit more orange, but a nice little breakfast pastry to start our morning. Also, I am sitting at Flame Tree Barbecue and not a single other person is here. I am here by myself. Oh, just kidding. We've got some friends that, they're coming out of the bushes. It's your typical breakfast pastry. 
I'm not gonna tell you to go out of your way to get this, but it is fun and on theme. Um, mine's a little cold, I'll be honest. Um, I feel like in the past this has been a lot better, but it's a nice, cute little breakfast option. And next up is one of my personal favorites, and that is Flame Tree Barbecue. This is a quick service that has a lot of barbecue options. You've got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, even some mac and cheese. And normally, if I'm here on a personal day, this is where I eat lunch most of the time. So I'm going to shout out a few of the items on the menu. Flame Tree Barbecue does have a lot of good options. Um, it's a very hearty meal, lots of barbecue. When Emma and I were here for our park hopping best day ever video, we did have the half chicken platter, which was a full chicken. Don't be, don't be fooled, it's a lot of food. Easily shareable, it was great. They also have really good pulled pork mac and cheese here, which I also love and will get on a personal day. So there's a lot of good options here. Um, simple barbecue, you'll be able to please everyone in your family. Also good onion rings. But besides all the good food, all of the great options, there is one thing here at Flame Tree Barbecue that I think personally puts it above the rest in Animal Kingdom. And I'm gonna show you because it's actually not a food item. So besides all the good food that Flame Tree Barbecue has, they have tons of seating, and I mean tons. And I wanna show you because this is one of my favorite spots to just chill, hang out, because it goes so far back here. If you need to sit down, come to Flame Tree Barbecue. It even has this beautiful water garden fountain situation back here, which is super relaxing and peaceful. It's got all of these different covered patios. Look at that beautiful view of Expedition Everest. I could sit here all day long and be perfectly content. Next up on our list is another little quick service stand. It is the Smiling Crocodile. It is right on the other side of Flame Tree Barbecue. This stand is only open seasonally and it's not open all day. So if you walk past it and see something on the menu that you want, I would recommend you grab it then because it's not guaranteed to be open the next time you walk past it. I will say I am intrigued by some of the tacos over at the Smiling Crocodile. I have too many items on the list for today that we're gonna eat, but I may have to come back and try some of those tacos because they sound really good. And just up the road from the Smiling Crocodile, we have another little snack stand and it is the Eight Spoon Cafe. Now I'm trying to do this in relatively walkable order, so the order that you'd walk around the park. We are currently walking past Tiffin's and Nomad Lounge. I'm not forgetting about them. We are gonna go to Pandora first, talk about those restaurants, and then come back. I wanna go eat lunch in Pandora and then we'll come back and have a nice Nomad Lounge moment later, so just Keep waiting because I'm very excited about what we'll get there. But first, let's go to the world of Pandora. And we have now made it into Pandora, the world of Avatar. This land is absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. And if you've never seen it before, it's an absolute must do next vacation, even if you just walk around because it's so pretty and it's so detailed. And I love just looking at all of the plants in the trees and all of the extra added detail that Disney has added here. It's absolutely beautiful. If you're here at Animal Kingdom all day, be sure to come back at night to see this area really come to life. I love this land. And the first place we are gonna talk about here in Pandora is Pongu Pongu. This is the quick service stand location here in Pandora. It is right next to the quick service restaurant, but it's outside. You can find things like the giant pretzel, the very controversial Pongu Lumpia, the non-alcoholic Night Blossom drink, and specialty themed alcoholic drinks like the Rum Blossom or the Hawks Grog Ale, which is green beer. I will say I don't like the Pongu Lumpia. I think it's gross but I know that everybody has different opinions on that. I don't like cream cheese. And right next door to Pangu Pangu is Satuli Canteen. This is the quick service location here in Pandora and it is where we are getting lunch today. Satuli Canteen has a lot of popular items. What I like to get is a create your own bowl kind of situation where you pick your protein and the extra sides that come with it. Also the cheeseburger spring rolls are really popular here as well, but I prefer to get a bowl. So let's mobile order and grab some lunch. Okay, I mobile ordered on the app. We've got about 10 minutes before I can click the I'm here, prepare my order button. So I'm gonna show you one more spot in Pandora that I like to shout out for a very specific item that you can only get here in Pandora. And I love it. So I'm gonna show you. Also gotta give a shout out to this little area over here with all the drums. Um, I wish they'd bring back the drummer show. So over here on the opposite side of Pandora, there is this little um, cart outside. It has a lot of ice cream, just a couple grab and go items, some drinks, but it does have the Fruits of Moara bar, which is really refreshing. I had it once for, a, I think a scavenger hunt video, and it's lime, strawberry, and raspberry. It's very refreshing. 
great for a hot day, kind of a healthier option in regards to like ice cream or a sweet treat. So I would totally recommend it and I'm giving it a shout out in this video because this is my video and I can do what I want. There are no rules. Also now I'm just killing time walking around Pandora because we still have a couple minutes before we can go eat. It's so pretty. I love this land. I found my little spot at Satuli, so let's talk lunch. When I come to Satuli, I always build my own bowl. I'll be honest, I love it. It's like Disney's version of Chipotle. Um, you can't quite pick everything. You pick your protein and then your two sides. So what I get every single time at Satuli Canteen, without a doubt, I love this meal. It is the chili garlic shrimp bowl with red and sweet potato hash and creamy herb sauce. It is delicious, it's wonderful, I love it. it has extra boba balls on top. Great, very filling meal, will fill me up for a while, which is unfortunate because we have to eat a lot today, but that's okay, because they do have to-go boxes if you need it. Cheers. I love this meal. I think you can't go wrong, especially because you are customizing it, so you will get what you want. You will be pleased. I love the shrimp. It's got great flavor and great spices. The potatoes are cooked perfectly. They almost melt in my mouth, which is what I love. Creamy herb dressing is elevated ranch, if you will. Um, I love this meal and sometimes I forget about it I'll be honest but I am very happy right now all right wonderful lunch love it according to the app the nomad lounge walk-up waitlist is full so on our way out we're gonna walk past it speak to a cast member see if I can physically put my name on the list we'll see so hopefully we get to go there today because that is definitely on the best eats list but we'll see I'm gonna try Ha <laughs> ha All right, pro tip. If the app says that the waitlist is full, it might be a lie. Because I just went up to Nomad Lounge in person, was super nice to the cast member. She notified me that it, it's gonna be a 75 minute wait. So she's encouraging people to go elsewhere. I was like, that's okay. I'm gonna stick around. I'm gonna hang out. So we're gonna go talk about everything else here in Animal Kingdom. And then we might end with a nice Nomad Lounge moment, which I think that's great. So, stay tuned. We'll save the best for last, but let's go talk more food. Now we have made it over to Creature Comforts, which is the Starbucks location here in Animal Kingdom. This is your typical Starbucks. No mobile order here though, because Disney doesn't have mobile order for their Starbucks, but basic Starbucks drinks. If you really just have a hankering for that iced oat milk, brown sugar shake and espresso, I get it, I understand. You're gonna find that here at Creature Comforts. Now again, like I said earlier with Joffrey's, we recommend Joffrey's over Starbucks just because you can get Starbucks anywhere, most likely in your hometown. However, if you stop here in Animal Kingdom at the Starbucks location, there is one drink that you absolutely should get and I'm gonna show you. Here at this specific Starbucks location, order any size flat white latte to salute the Disney Conservation Fund's efforts to protect cotton top tamarins, which are endangered South American monkeys. This drink was selected because of the creamy white dollop that tops the beverage, similar to the crest of white hair on the cotton top tamarins. So right across the way from the Starbucks, if you do get a flat white, be sure and come over and check out the cotton top tamarins because they are right here and they're so little. They're so cute. And it makes me want to buy the coffee, even though I don't need it. And right before you head into Africa, still on Discovery Island, you've got another stand and this is Terra Treats. Terra Treats has a few different items, just a couple of different pizza slices and some drinks. So not a whole lot, but in the morning they do have overnight oats until 10.30 if you want a more healthier breakfast option. I will say they also have a colossal cinnamon roll here with banana, and I think I need to try it to figure out the true best cinnamon roll in Disney World, because maybe it's this one. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but next time. All right, and now we are making our way into Africa. And I can already hear the live entertainment and I love it. Next up is Mahindi. This is mostly just a popcorn stand, but I will tell you it smells amazing because you've got that nice buttery popcorn smell plus cinnamon glazed nuts. This is also where you can find some souvenir popcorn buckets as well. And right across the way, we've got Dawa Bar, which is a great underrated bar with lots of full options. It is a full bar. The bartenders are great. We specifically love the African margarita here on the menu, but here you can also get that famous jungle juice. Step inside this lively Harambe Marketplace eatery and enjoy the plentiful buffet brimming with African-inspired flavors along with some American options as well. Here you are hosted by Donald Duck and his friends all in their safari best. Food options include sitar braised beef, which is amazing, as well as spit roasted herb chicken and green curry shrimp. There's also more comforting classics like mac and cheese and corn dog nuggets for those pickier eaters. I won't blame you if you get the corn dog nuggets. 
Next up, we've got Tamu Tamu Refreshments, which is a window in the heart of Harambe Village where you can satisfy your sweet tooth. They've got some pastries here in the morning, but most people come here for the spiked Dole Whip. So you can get what's called the King's Cooler, which is Dole Whip pineapple topped with Parrot Bay coconut rum and strawberry. You can also do a simple pineapple cup or float with rum as well. All right, and today I went with the African margarita, of course. This is our favorite here at Dawa Bar. We love Dawa Bar. I think it's underrated, and I think it's getting more popular. Um, shout out to um, my new friends that I met. Not met, we met the other day, but saw you again at the Dawa Bar. I hope you enjoyed your African margarita. So let's try mine. This is wonderful. It is an elevated margarita, especially with that tangerine flavor added to it. I love this. I would get this every time. A lot more food to eat, All right? Take a break if you need to. But before we keep going through the rest of Animal Kingdom, I want you to make me a promise, okay? It better be a pinky promise. After you're done watching this video, I want you to go to the allears.net website and leave a dining review for somewhere here in Animal Kingdom, okay? It can be quick service, table service, snack stand, whatever you choose but I want you to leave a review specifically for somewhere in Animal Kingdom. Our website is there to help anyone and everyone plan their Disney vacation. And it means so much when other viewers like you, when other people who have gone to Disney World and have that experience, leave a very honest review. I want you to be completely honest. If there was a place that you did not love and would never go back again, I would like to hear it because that's important for other people when they are deciding where to go on their Disney vacation. So. At Kusafiri Coffee Shop and Bakery, you'll find freshly baked pastries in the morning and some delicious savory bites in the afternoon. Our resident vegan breed love adores the impossible empanadas here, so if you are also a plant-based eater, you might want to try them out for yourself. Next, we've got the Harambe Fruit Market. This is a stand right outside of the Safari's attraction where you can grab various snack items like fruits or chips or pretzels, etc. But you cannot come to Harambe Fruit Market and not get the grilled corn on the cob. It is amazing. You can watch the cast members grill it right in front of you. It's got beautiful African spices on it. It is amazing. Please, 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 please do not come to the Harambe Fruit Market and not get the grilled corn on the cob. Okay, I'm not gonna get it today because I don't wanna get the corn all stuck in my teeth, but believe me when I say that corn on the cob is so good. It's amazing. One of the best things you can get here in Animal Kingdom. I hear some more live entertainment, so let's take a break while we have our nice little beverage. Let's go watch some more entertainment in Animal Kingdom. love them if they're doing a show and you walk past stop and just watch it it's only a few minutes and it's super super fun it's one of those things where they get the crowd involved and that's where you make those very wonderful very magical filled Disney memories it's things like that this signature fine dining restaurant takes inspiration from African, Asian, and Latin cuisine. Some of our team's favorites include the tamarind-based short rib or the lobster mac and cheese. Tiffin's is also decorated with beautiful artwork from around the world, and you can learn more about the Imagineers who brought Animal Kingdom to life. Perfect timing, because as soon as the show ended, I got the text that our table is ready at Nomad Lounge. So we're gonna head that way, and we're gonna have a nice little lounge moment. Okay, you and I together. I think we both deserve that. So let's head to Nomad Lounge. All right, we've made it to Nomad Lounge. I'm actually sitting outside, which is wonderful. So very happy, very excited. So I need to look at the menu, what are we gonna get? And for my drink of choice today, I went with the Snow Leopard Salvation, which is vodka, pear liqueur, mint, and lime juice topped with ginger. So kind of a different version of a mojito. And I'm very excited for this. The waitress said it was a great choice. So I'm very excited. All right, cheers. I thought the margarita was refreshing earlier. This is even more refreshing. It's like a mojito, same type of vibe. A couple different flavors. And our churros are here, which it comes with two different dipping sauces. One is vanilla cream, and the other one is a seasonal sauce. Today is strawberry guava. I have heard that these are the best churros in Disney World, and we're gonna try them out today because I've never actually had these. Let's test it. 
I am so excited for these churros. I have heard so many good things about them. I'm ready to try them. I'm ready to eat these. They look delicious. Best churros in Disney World, hands down. Let's try vanilla cream sauce. All right, strawberry guava. Why have I never had these before? These are the best churros I've ever had. Now, granted, I haven't been, I haven't had a Disneyland churro. These churros are melting in my mouth. Like it touches my tongue and it disintegrates. Plus the sauces, oh my gosh. Absolutely the best churros in Disney World. Hands down, no question, immediately. The vanilla cream, amazing. The strawberry guava is also really great and I love that it's a seasonal sauce so it changes all the time. This is an absolute must do, must eat, must buy, get the churros. And also, they're gluten free. So, best of both worlds. Next up is Harambe Market where you can savor African inspired fare at an open air plaza. Here you can find a variety of bowls like the ribs and chicken bowl, grilled chicken bowl, or the Harambe salad with chicken. There's even some specialty beverages in the very back. Plus, have you ever seen that You Are Most Beautiful wall and wondered where it was in Animal Kingdom? It's back here in Harambe Market. I'll show you. If you come all the way to the back of the Harambe Market, it is over here. There's a little sign that says staff only, but this is where the You Are Most Beautiful wall is. Of course, don't go all the way backstage, but if you want to snap a pic, you can go ahead, but that's where it is. All the way back here. Now, technically, Zuri Sweet Shop is a merchandise location, but I still wanted to include it on the list. Here you can grab yourself some sweet treats from the bakery case, but back in the day, Zuri sold poop candy. No, I'm not kidding. It was called Match the Species Poop Candy, where you would be served a series of chocolate fudge that resembled... Well, you get the idea. Now, I know we all love to take our picture in front of the Tree of Life as soon as we walk into Animal Kingdom, but I also encourage you to come to the backside of the Tree of Life. Look at this beautiful view, perfect spot to take some pictures. And honestly, we can go down a little bit further and get even closer to the Tree of Life. I love it, this park is absolutely beautiful. It is underrated, it doesn't get enough love. So I'm here to put forth that effort and say, I love Animal Kingdom and you should too. Anyways, on to more food. Caravan Road is another small snack counter, but this one is all about shaved ice. Here you can grab kakigori, which is Japanese shaved ice dessert flavored with watermelon and sweetened condensed milk. It's very refreshing on a hot day. Mr. Kamal's is another small snack stand here in Animal Kingdom. They don't have very much on the menu, but one of the items on this menu is the very famous Mr. Kamal's seasoned fries, and we will be getting it today. I got my fries, you know we had to, but we're gonna find some extra hidden seating behind Mr. Kamal's, so let me show you. Actually, I want to get this table over here in the corner. <laughs> Look at that. So pretty. We're going to come right here. We're going to sit. We're going to look at the tree of life. Because today is all about appreciating nature. And actually, you see right over there, there's a little covered area where if you go down even, even farther, you're going to find more seating. And of course, we could not stop by Mr. Kamal's without getting Mr. Kamal's seasoned fries. These are some seasoned fries served with sriracha mayo. I know in the past, They've come with various different sauces. So I'm a little disappointed that it only comes with one now, but they are still amazing, still delicious, perfectly seasoned. Love the sriracha mayo. So we had to get them for a best eats day in Animal Kingdom. It would have been honestly illegal to not get these. All right, picture perfect background, sitting at my table, eating Mr. Kamal's fries. It honestly doesn't get better than this. I'm having a wonderful day, if you can't tell. I love it snack videos so please ask for more snack videos anyways let's try the fries i have to get some sriracha mayo cheers perfectly seasoned fry by itself perfectly seasoned the sriracha mayo is wonderful it's got a little bit of a kick not anything major nothing to be afraid of but it's a nice little kick it's different they are elevated Disney fries. They're the skinny fries. I think I prefer fatter fries. <laughs> These are wonderful, easily shareable. The sauce is good. I still wish they had the multiple sauces. Great snack, great view, great vibes, great company, great day. Also, I need to say all these flotillas are all coming out at once. I wonder if there's a storm coming, but we are now seeing the third right in a row. I've already seen 
Pluto, Goofy, Pocahontas, Miko, and now Launchpad is coming. So crazy, fun moment. I'll show you. Here they go. Hi. <laughs> you look great. You look amazing. Love you. <laughs> Attention all. He's not even looking. What? Look to the Discovery River to sneak up. And right across from Mr. Kamal's is Warung Outpost, which is another small bar. Not many options here, but it does have the Maharaja Lime Margarita, as well as the non-alcoholic Shangri-La Berry Freeze. And here's more of that seating that I was talking about. But there's also the drummer flotilla coming by. Here at Drinkwalla, you can grab some assorted nuts, chips, and ice cold beverages for a little pick me up when you need it. I will also note that here you can get a frozen Coke with either Captain Morgan Rum or Jack Daniels Whiskey. At the base of Expedition Everest sits Yak and Yeti Restaurant, a table service eatery serving delicious dishes from various regions across Asia. This is very unique dining with American, Asian, Chinese, and seafood dishes. Specifically, I have to mention the ahi tuna nachos. I mean, yum. And right next door, you'll find Yak and Yeti local food cafes where you can get teriyaki beef bowls, egg rolls, fried rice, and more. This is a great quick service restaurant with some amazing options. There's also quite a bit of seating behind the building, so be sure to check that when you grab some food. And recently, this has become my favorite option for breakfast in Animal Kingdom with their breakfast bowl. If you want to know more about that, you can check out Emma and I's Perfect Day Park Hopping video. This is another Joffrey's location here in Animal Kingdom. Here you can get all kinds of coffee and tea, but I specifically wanted to shout out the frozen matcha and the frozen chai latte. Now, the Anandapur ice cream truck is wonderful just because it's a truck full of ice cream. But in all seriousness, here you can pick up a soft serve waffle cone or a frosty float with your choice of fountain beverage. If you want a fun Animal Kingdom themed treat, then I encourage you to get the Yeti Sunday, which is chocolate and vanilla soft serve, blue cake crumbs, snowflakes, and a chocolate Yeti coin. Now, we're not getting ice cream here, not because we don't want ice cream, we always want ice cream, but we're gonna get somewhere else, somewhere that we haven't been yet. So. Just keep watching. Thirsty River Bar and Trek Snacks are another spot to grab a drink. There's nothing super special here, but they do have some specialty cocktails and some wine. All right, we have three snack spots left on our huge big list. And honestly, we're gonna get two of those three snacks. Stay tuned because we're still going. I still want one more savory snack and one more sweet treat. So you might have an idea about what those might be but you also might be surprised. And our very last land here in Animal Kingdom, we are heading into Dino Land USA. This land has been through it, honestly. One of my favorite rides ever is no longer here anymore. And, you know, Disney's thrown out ideas that they might retheme Dino Land, you know, whatever. I'm gonna be sad when that day happens because I love Dino Land. It's kitschy, it's cute, it's fun, it's underrated but it does have a lot of good snacks that I want to show you. For our next stop today, we are grabbing a snack from Trilobites. This quick service location in Dinoland has a limited menu, but it is home to one of my favorite snacks. This is also another location where you can get an adult Dole Whip. You're welcome. Now our best eat item at Trilobites is the buffalo chicken chips. These are house-made chips served with buffalo chicken and blue cheese dressing topped with tomato and celery relish. I've had these before in videos, you know I love them, and we're gonna take the opportunity to eat them again. Cheers. I'm not a huge fan of blue cheese, but the, it's not super overpowering in this. It's, honestly, it's more of like a sour cream to me, at least consistency-wise, which I think is why I can handle it so well. But I do love these chips. It's a nice savory snack over in Dino Land. I love to grab it on the go in the middle of ride challenges. Easily shareable, which I think is a key component to a great Disney snack. It has to be shareable. And I just think this is nice. It's different than your typical theme park food, and I love it. So I would highly recommend these chips to anyone who wants to try them. And we are ending this video on the best way possible with some ice cream, which means I am here in Dino Land at Dino by Ice Snacks to grab an ice cream sandwich. All right, for our final snack of the day, I ended up getting the Dino Dig ice cream sandwich from Dino Bite Snacks. This is vanilla ice cream with two house-made sugar cookies with chocolate sprinkles, cookie crumbs, sugar bones, and a white chocolate dinosaur. 
You know I love ice cream. I'm so excited. Let's just, I just, I need to eat it. I need to eat it right now. I've taken all the pictures. I've taken all the videos. I need to eat it right now. I must say, this is a really good ice cream sandwich. The ice cream is very sweet, very creamy. Tastes really delicious. The cookie crumbles on top of the cookie are amazing. And even the little white chocolate pieces and decorations on top are really tasty. And that doesn't always happen with Disney treats. Sometimes the decorations are more just decorations. Everything about this tastes good. I love it. It is a little messy, but hey, nothing wrong with that. I think this is really great. Dynamite Snacks always has a great, some kind of version of an ice cream sandwich going on. It used to be the 50th anniversary. Sometimes they have different ones for like Valentine's Day or Christmas or what have you. So they're always super fun and on theme. I think this is a great one, but this is a really good sandwich. And I think it is the perfect way to end this video. So let me finish my sandwich. And that is all of the best things that I've ever eaten in Disney's Animal Kingdom. I don't know about you, but <laughs> I'm full. I need to go back to Quincy's house and take a nap. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and now go watch Quincy's version of this video with the best things to eat in Epcot. See you there. Also, don't forget to leave a review. Remember, you promised. You promised.